FIFA World Cup 2014 is finally here. Well, not finally here. It's like almost here. It's tomorrow. And uh, many people have stocked up for what is going to be a non-lighter. So there's a lot of cold drinks that have been stocked up, a lot of chips. And speaking of chips, I've got someone who doesn't eat probably at all. Mr. Yatish Mehta, who does not fit into the camera frame, or maybe he does. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Avik, for inviting me. Absolutely. Yeah. We're always glad to invite fans here and the reason that we are here is to take you through the journey, one of the biggest sporting events that comes once in four years, it's the FIFA World Cup. Futebol is the thread that connects all of Brazilian life. It's in our soil, in our roots, in every corner, all along the coast, a dance of the spirit in our hearts, more than pastime. It's our national passion. The world will come here for the emotions, for the moments, for the colors of the cup. Opening match tomorrow between Brazil and Croatia. It's being held at the Arena de Sao Paulo in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And it is the game that we're all looking forward to. The host nation Brazil being led by its son Neymar and Croatia being spearheaded by Luka Modric from Real Madrid. Now, if you know, both these teams are on opposite sides in the La Liga, where Neymar plays for FC Barcelona and Luka Modric plays for Real Madrid. Neyatish, if you have a look at tomorrow's game, uh, who do you think has the advantage and why do you think so? I definitely feel that Brazil has an advantage. See, they have Neymar, obviously, who is the star of the Brazil side, but the talent, the young talent which they have right now, Croatia is totally dependent upon Luka Modric. But Brazil has many players. Uh, for instance, they have Neymar, they have Ramirez, they have Oscar. So they have a good talent which is already playing in various Premier Leagues. Whereas Croatia, few players, but Brazil has a upper hand on it. 